Hi, this is Andy, KE4GKP, and welcome back to the Ham Whisperer and Lesson 11 in the Technician Operator Element 2 exam preparation course. Today's lesson is going to cover the T3B questions from the question pool, which goes over radio and electromagnetic wave properties. All right, ready? Let's go. In this lesson, we're going to be covering the electromagnetic spectrum, wavelength versus frequency, and the velocity of electromagnetic waves. What is the name for the distance a radio wave travels during one complete cycle? All right, the answer to the question is a wavelength. If you look at the diagram here, I have a, a wavelength uh, drawn out. From start to finish, it's the distance of one complete cycle, and the picture shows a complete cycle. Just remember, the distance is length, add the wave to that, and you have wavelength. What property of a radio wave is used to describe its polarization? The answer is the orientation of the electric field. Now this is usually the result of the antenna's orientation in relation to Earth. So a horizontal antenna like a dipole, which is horizontally oriented to the Earth, produces a horizontally oriented electric field. Now a vertical antenna, which is vertically oriented to the Earth, will produce a vertically polarized signal. Now this is an electric field, it is not a magnetic field. And there's a question on the exam that says, you know, a or, the orientation of the magnetic field, that's wrong. So to get this one right, just think of an electric light on a pole, like a street lamp or something like that, um, to differentiate between this and a magnetic field. So what property of a radio wave is used to describe its polarization? The orientation of the electric field. What are the two components of a radio wave? Well, if you remember from a previous lesson, a radio wave is an electromagnetic wave. And if you break down that word a little bit more, it has both electronic or electrical is probably a better way of saying that, and magnetic components. So therefore, the best answer is electric and magnetic fields. How fast does a radio wave travel through free space? All right, this is one of those memorization questions. And this co question comes up again later on. Radio waves travel at 300 million meters per second, or the speed of light. So for this question, remember the speed of light. How does the wavelength of a radio wave relate to its frequency? Now, if you, you have to kind of picture in your head the diagram we had on the first slide. The wavelength gets shorter as the frequency increases. So essentially, if you double the frequency, you can fit twice as many waves in the same amount of time. So the relationship is wavelength gets shorter as the frequency increases, or vice versa. What is the formula for converting frequency to wavelength in meters? Now, this is another one of those memorization questions, and there's a good deal of that in this section, but don't worry about it too much. To find wavelength in meters, you take 300 and divide by the frequency in megahertz. So wavelength in meters is equal to 300 divided by frequency in megahertz. So take, for instance, the amateur privileges in 10 meter band. Uh, it's roughly 28 megahertz. So how many times does 28 megahertz go into 300? Roughly 10, making it the 10 meter band. So just remember, wavelength in meters is equal to 300 divided by frequency in megahertz. What property of radio waves is often used to identify the different frequency bands? Now, here we go into the meter question again. You may already wrote, know this answer and may not realize it. The approximate wavelength is often used to identify bands. And for instance, 2 meters, 70 centimeters, 6 meters, 40 meters, 10 meters, all those bands' names are wavelengths, approximately. Um, some are a little bit more, some are a little bit less, but approximately those bands are the wavelengths of the radio waves. What are the frequency limits of the VHF spectrum? Now, here's another memorization one, but there's a trick to this one. The VHF, or very high frequency spectrum, is 30 to 300 megahertz. 30 to 300 megahertz. Um, a way to remember this is that the amateur 2 meter privileges is 144 to 148 megahertz, and 2 meters is VHF. Of all the possible answers, it is the only one which the 2 meter privileges fall into. So there's your memory trick. What are the frequency limits of the UHF spectrum? All right, just like the other question, this, you have to memorize this one, but there's a trick to this one too if, that you've probably already memorized. The answer is 300 to 3,000 megahertz. 300 to 3,000 megahertz. Just remember, UHF stands for ultra high frequency, which is higher than very high frequency, which is VHF. And just like the last question, the correct answer to the exam is the only one which the 70 centimeter, which is 420 to 450 megahertz, falls into. 
So just remember 300 to 3000 megahertz. What frequency range is referred to as HF? And this one's just, you're gonna have to flat out memorize, it's three to 30 megahertz. Uh, no real tricks we've gone, so, gone over so far in this course, remember this one. But if you've gone the extra mile and you've memorized the HF frequency bands, um, just remember that three to 30 megahertz is the HF frequency, which is roughly the three is the 80 meter band and 30 is a 10 meter band. So just remember three to 30 megahertz HF. What is the approximate velocity of a radio wave as it travels through free space? Now, this is the question I told you to remember, and it was similar to one, I think it was the second or third one. The answer is the speed of light, or 300 million meters per second. Now, for this particular question, they're looking for the 300 million meters per second. If you forget how many zeros to look for, just remember the answer is crazy wicked fast. And of all the possible answers, the correct answer is the fastest. And that's it for the review, and now it's time for the T3B quiz. So take out a pencil and paper and number 1 through 11. Um, as always, I'll go through the questions pretty quickly, so if you need more time, simply pause the video. And when you're done with the quiz, be sure to go to hamwhisper.com, go into the exam answers page to the T3B link, and check your answers there. So get ready, and let's start the quiz. Question 1. What is the name for the distance a radio wave travels during one complete cycle? A. Wave speed. B, wave form, C, wave length, or D, wave spread. Question two. What property of a radio wave is used to describe its polarization? A, the orientation of the electric field. B, the orientation of the magnetic field. C, the ratio of the energy in the magnetic field to the energy in the electric field. Or D, the ratio of the velocity to the wavelength. Question three. What are the two components of a radio wave? A, AC and DC, B, voltage and current, C, electric and magnetic fields, D, ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. Question four, how fast does a radio wave travel through free space? A, at the speed of light, B, at the speed of sound, C, its speed is inversely proportional to its wavelength, or D, its speed increases as the frequency increases. Question five, how does the wavelength of a radio wave relate to its frequency? A, the wavelength gets longer as the frequency increases. B, the wavelength gets shorter as the frequency increases. C, there is no relationship between wavelength and frequency. Or D, the wavelength depends on the bandwidth of the signal. Question six, what is the formula for converting frequency to wavelength in meters? A, wavelength in meters equals frequency in hertz multiplied by 300. B, wavelength in meters equals frequency in hertz divided by 300. C, wavelength in meters equals frequency in megahertz divided by 300. Or D, wavelength in meters equals 300 divided by frequency in megahertz. Question seven, what property of radio waves is often used to identify the different frequency bands? A, the approximate wavelength. B, the magnetic intensity of waves. C, the time it takes for waves to travel one mile. Or D, the voltage standing wave ratio of waves. Question eight, what are the frequency limits of the VHF spectrum? A, 30 to 300 kilohertz, B, 30 to 300 megahertz, C, 300 to 3,000 kilohertz, or D, 300 to 3,000 megahertz. Question nine, what are the frequency limits of the UHF spectrum? A, 30 to 300 kilohertz, B, 30 to 300 megahertz, C, 300 to 3,000 kilohertz, or D, 300 to 3,000 megahertz. Question 10, what frequency range is referred to as HF? A, 300 to 3,000 megahertz, B, 30 to 300 megahertz, C, 3 to 30 megahertz, or D, 300 to 3,000 kilohertz? Question 11, what is the approximate velocity of a radio wave as it travels through free space? A, 3,000 kilometers per second, B, 300 million meters per second, C, 300,000 miles per hour, or D, 186,000 miles per hour. And that's it for the T3B lesson. Now that you're done with the quiz, be sure to go to hamwhisper.com, go to the exam answers page, and find the T3B link to check your answers. And until next time, in lesson 12, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.